Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sarah Sophia and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different and I'm going to be showing you some tips of how to play the Blossom Derby. So I hope you learn a lot from this video. So right now I'm going to be discussing how the points work. As you see now, the buddy's task is available and is worth 350 points. So some one team member has already taken it, so that's why it went up by 30 points. After it reaches 350, it goes up by 25 points at a total max of uh, 400. Each team member can only take the task once and it expires after three days of use. So this chart was provided by Heyday and it shows that the tasks go up. So it starts out at 320 and ends at a total max of 400. This derby is especially good for larger teams because each player can only take the task once and if you have 30 players in a team, you can get a lot of points this way. So right now we're going to be talking about how to delete tasks. So as you see, I'm going to delete this lobster skewer task. So I have five members on my team and we get two blossom tasks. So every two players you get one blossom task. So say for us, we have five, we only get two since we have an odd number. So if you have six, you're going to get three. So one more example, if you have ten members, you're going to get five Blossom Derby tasks. If you have nine, you're going to get four Blossom Derby tasks. So whenever you have an existing two tasks on the board, for our scenario, we're not going to get another Blossom Derby task until we delete a task. So I'm going to get a new task in 30 minutes. So you might ask, when should I delete the task? In my scenario, I'm going to delete it after all five members complete the task and a new one will pop up on the board. Right now, I'm showing what task you can get from this Blossom Derby. Heyday's provided this picture and if you would like to stop this video right now, it is a great time to research some of the tasks you can get. Keeping track of everybody and what tasks they complete is very hard in this derby. I created my own server in Discord and I added a Blossom Derby tasks. So each member just removes their name whenever I finish the task. So after they complete it all, there should be no names left and you can know whenever to delete the task after everybody took it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys have any other additional questions about the Blossom Derby or comments about them, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Bye!